Hi, and welcome to M101JS, MongoDB for Node.js developers. My name is Shannon Bradshaw. I am Director of Engineering for Education at MongoDB, and I'll be teaching this class, along with help along the way from Andrew Ehrlichson and Sean Virch. As you know, if you've taken a class with us before, the course is seven weeks long. Each week, we'll release new lesson videos, typically accompanied by a quiz to test your understanding of the lesson. And at the end of each week, there will be a set of homework exercises. This is a new version of M101JS. And with this version, we're trying out a couple of new things. One is the material in each week. There'll be just a little bit less lesson material in each week with a little bit more focus on exercises for you to complete. In addition, instead of a final exam at the end of the course, there will instead be a final project. Here we'll have you build a fairly good size MongoDB application, in this case, based on Node.js. We welcome your comments as we iterate on our course format in this particular course. I just want to touch on a couple of logistics issues. How does grading work? Well, as I mentioned, there are quizzes, homework, and a final project as deliverables on your part in the course. Quizzes are there as a formative measure to make sure that you're understanding. Your grade at the end of the class will be based instead on how well you did on the homework and on the final project, each of these being worth 50% of your grade. Now, if you're like me, the grade is less important than the actual learning. And I would encourage you to take that focus to this course because it's really about learning the material and taking it and applying it in your work environment or maybe in a new venture or side project that you have. Now, the last thing that I want to point out and encourage you to do in this course is to use the discussion forum. We have some well-versed TAs, and a lot of your fellow students are reading the forum discussions and happy to help if you get stuck on a homework problem or if you just have a question. I'd really encourage you to use the discussion forum, not just when you have a problem, but also as a means of discussing the concepts introduced in the course in more detail. In our experience, the students who do best in the course are those who actually participate in the discussion forum. With all that said, we are very happy to have you as a student in this course. Best of luck.